Okay. He's not your conventional president, and he's not a politician. So he's attacking it more like a businessman would attack it. Lights, camera, action, it's all happening, and I really admire that about him. And let's face facts. We spoke. You know, it was an outstanding a, a win. Um, <clears throat> there's so many voters that supported him. And he really is coming through on his promises. He's checking them off one after the other. I never expected Mexico to give us a check right from day one. I think that the mainstream media framed it that way for people, uh, but that is not how I took it to mean. The most important thing I think right now in his, his cabinet is to make our country, our communities, our uh, cities safe. I know that Mr. Trump doesn't have an exact plan, you know, to put on the table. He's repealed it, and now they need to work on putting something together. But, you know, when Obamacare came in, it was not perfect on day one either. Um, it doesn't, like they say, Rome wasn't built in a day, so it's going to take him a little while. My premium just this year went from $1,925 a month to $2,765 a month, and that's just unbearable. I would stay with my agenda and keep pushing that forward. The crowd size doesn't matter. This isn't a testosterone uh, contest. This is what's right for America. I love the fact that he tweets. I get his tweets as he does them every day. And it's such fun waking up in the morning and knowing that, you know, at one, two, three in the morning, he, he sent out a tweet and I got it first thing in the morning. He hasn't changed his stance. I think he's doing fantastic. And I think that after four years, everybody's gonna say, well, they're gonna look back and see what he's done. And I think he's gonna get, he'll get another four years in office because he's gonna do a fabulous job.